Welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire. It's like we never left. Almost. We have four bottles left from the Purple Ton Hot Sauce Company. Four. Ha, 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 ha. If you're going to do it, you got to do it right. Four. Ha, 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 ha. Ah, there you go. That's better. Poor Count. He doesn't exist anymore. Mm, he, he counted his last beat. Yeah, he can't count anymore. <laughs> Poor guy. Unless he's counting from the other side. Maybe he is. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> and on that note. So we're going to continue with the roll of the die to uh, Dice roll of doom. see which one we get. And Michelle, you can roll this time. Okay. So, in case you haven't watched, there's going to be one, two, three, four, since that's the way you guys are seeing it. Number <clears throat> one. See? Number one. No cheating. So, last time I didn't know. Or last time I knew you didn't know. Did so look? I can look? Yeah. You look and don't tell me. Ooh. I gotta see the ingredients. There's a kniffle to open. <laughs> do, 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 do. Um, look at. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Good. So look at a monocle. You like? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, everyone should know by now. I'm blind, so I don't have my new specs in yet. She was blinded by the light. Not quite. Well, actually, I do get blinded by the light. My next glasses will be transitions. Okay, so you don't want to see it. No, I want to. And I can't tell them. I want well, to show them. They'll know because by the time I edit it, they'll know. It's not the same as me showing them. Yes, but I don't know if they can read it. Because I don't know how well it will show up on camera or how well they can read. And I'm hoping it can read really well. <laughs> I'm just going to say. Stick? It doesn't look as appetizing when you look at the bottle this way. <laughs> It doesn't look that appetizing. <laughs> should have been number two. <laughs> should have been number Actually, yeah, it should have been number two. Um, good luck in that on your spoon. Don't don't look. Oh, well, look, it's not sticking to my hand in any way, shape, or form. Ooh. It does have a really good smell. And completely different from... Um, um. I'm getting a brown sugar kind of smell out of it. I'm not saying that's what's in it, but I'm just kind of I'm getting a brown. Brown from it. <laughs> what is brownish? It is very brown. It almost... But you are you are right in a way. You are very right in a way. i to turn this over. Yeah, try and get... I don't know how it's going to pour out of there. It looks very thick. Like, you're going to have to... <laughs> it almost like melted chocolate. In... The way it pours. <laughs> so this does not stick to your hand. No. <laughs> I could probably pick this up. Don't, because in case it comes undone. <laughs> oh, geez, there it goes. Woohoo! All right. So for some reason, if you haven't watched the last video yet, the bottles are sticking to Michelle's hand. There's nothing on it that sticks to my hand. So it's got to be her hand. And we were playing cards against Granny, so there's no question in why she she's sticky. <laughs> I just have a very magnetic personality for glass. <laughs> Wait. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I got any on my nose. I thought my nose hit something. It might just hit the edge of that. He wants to taste it with his nostrils. So. What do you smell? Sauce. <laughs> in my spoon. I smell the plastic. But I'm still getting that brown sugar. I'm getting... I don't know if it's coffee or cocoa. It's more more of a sweeter, so I'm going to say more cocoa, but that could be the brown sugar. That kind of smell that I'm getting. Garlic. I'm also getting... <clears throat> It's got a lot of interest. I don't know. For some reason, I'm getting kind of like, like, not necessarily this, but kind of like the scent of something like oregano or something like that kind of herbal. Like, Probably, yes. Uh, fresh herb kind of smell. Like if you want me to confirm something. Oh, no, things, no, 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 no. Okay. I'm, I'm going to taste it and see if I'm still getting. Cheers. <laughs> Definitely chocolate, not cocoa. Or not co coffee, I mean. 
Not a whole lot of heat. We didn't get a heat from that? I'm going to say... I got a little, uh, like, smoky heat in the back. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of that now. I'm still, I'm going to say habanero. But, like, the heat-wise, but I'm not getting the fruitiness of habanero. So maybe red sabina. Um, but I am getting the, the chocolate, brown sugar. I am getting garlic, and I don't know what herb it is, but there's some sort of fresh herb in it, like oregano type or not dill, but like that kind of leafy. Yeah, I, I get where you're getting that uh, that uh, herb. Yeah, it's almost like uh, when you have um, parsley. I don't know if there's parsley in here. I don't think there is. Yeah, it's just that fresh. Oh, I know what it is. I see it now. Okay, well. Not so, parsley. So what's in it? Okay, so tomatillos, uh, jalapeno, buchaluca, which is ghost pepper. Really? Yeah. So that's where I'm getting the, the back of the That throat. could be the heat part that I'm getting, but I'm not getting the flavor. It, it's not bad. Then there's some habanero. Mm -hmm. uh, there's tomatoes, vegetable broth, apple cider vinegar, water, maple syrup, Brown sugar, uh, cocoa, because it is um, okay. yeah. cocoa butter, uh, cocoa powder, yellow onion, but that's like really far down the list. Yeah. Garlic, peanuts, almonds, cilantro, which is probably that. That could be what I'm parsley. picking up on, yeah. Raisins, spices, olive oil, and Himalayan pink salt, black pepper, and organic. Right? The, yeah, the organic just. Uh, Chocolate mole. Really? Yeah. So you were right <clears throat> about a lot of that. It, it does have a very Mexican... That, 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 brown, that sweetness of the brown sugar was a definite yeah. smell. And for being far, that far down the list, I'm surprised I picked up on that. Yeah. But the co cocoa, and probably because of the mix of some of the other stuff as well, I wasn't sure if it was coffee or cocoa. Yeah. But once I tasted it, the garlic, the garlic to me is prominent in that. The cilantro really comes out mm. a lot, too. I'm not one of these people that taste soap. You know, some people apparently yeah. have that genetic thing. I don't taste soap. But it does taste almost like parsley. I know, because I don't eat cilantro, so either way. <laughs> well, you just had some. But yeah, like I don't eat it. To, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I knew there was some herb in there. It just the way yeah, it was. Yeah, not bad. Very, I, very Mexican. I'm actually su surprised I got a lot of those that yeah. was in there. Uh, I The heat-wise, for me, was more the jalapeno like level of... Yeah, it's like biting a fresh jalapeno. I didn't get ghost. I didn't get the habanero. But I got the fruity of the habanero to some degree. But I also got more taste of jalapeno mm. in that sense. But I wonder what ghost... Especially on the second taste, you can really taste that chocolate. But I wonder what and ghost the they used. Maybe they used the chocolate ghost? Could be. Because that might have made sense. Because like I said, with ghost, I get it at the back of my yeah. throat. So, so I could feel a little bit I'm of I'm not sure it. if you guys can see that. It kind of looks like running Nutella. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good. It's the best way I could describe it. It's not like when you see a sauce that says chocolate mole, you're almost expecting it to be real sweet, but it's not. Oh. Now did you get the heat? No. I got some of the dried stuff that was around the, the lid. Yeah. Came into it, so it was all gritty. No. Well, you know. I wasn't expecting that. Just kind of weird, weird sensation on the tongue. Flavor I was going to say it's the, uh, the worm that you get the end of uh, tequila, but no, I'm not going I actually like that. Oh. <laughs> to each their own. Yeah, it's good. It's not bad. No, it's... It's, it's got a nice uh, a nice even heat. Yeah. What would you give it for heat-wise? A two? They're about the same as the last one yeah. we've had. I, 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 was, I, was saying about, I was thinking about a two. Cause it, there's a, it lingers a little bit longer than the last one. Here, on here, it says three. And the last one was a two. But I'd say it's about the same heat level for me as the other one. Yeah, I'm giving it a, a two as opposed to a one and a half as I did last because it's it lingers longer. It's yeah. still on my tongue. Now, flavor wise, flavor wise, oh, that's a tough one. I don't think it's the other one is still my favorite. I think this one is more like I said eight and a half for the other one. So yeah. I think this is more like a six, maybe six and a half. The individual flavors in it, the brown sugar. The maple syrup is probably also helping with the brown sugar smell that I was getting. Yeah. That, the cocoa. Because it smells a lot sweeter than it The tastes. mix of those is really nice, like just in general, mixing those together. So that kind of bumps it up, but then it also, it doesn't present itself with all of those flavors at the same time. No. Because to me, I'm getting the like, brown sugar. What are sugar. you getting now? Because now I'm tasting the black pepper. 
at the end, I'm tasting the black pepper. I'm not sure because I still got kind of the grit texture on my tongue that I was trying to deal with. But I'm getting the brown sugar, the sweetness, the maple syrup, brown sugar mix. I'm still getting a bit of cocoa. I've got a little tingle of the heat left over. Yep, just a little bit. But I'm not really getting any of the, the fruitiness of the hab or the jalapeno. And not nothing from the ghost either. Because to me, ghost usually has a bit of uh, a fruity uh, flavor more than a floral. Yeah, I, get, I, I usually people, get more smoke from I know some ghost. people get, depends. It all depends on which ghost they're using too. Yeah. But for me, flavor wise, I'd probably have to go about a six on that one myself yeah. as well. Because it's just, it's one I of mean, those, it's definitely pretty good. Yeah. It, it would be harder to say what you could put that one on. Oh, definitely burritos. Um, because it would soak up into the tortillas. And it's, it's a mole. It's meant for more. Pairs well with enchiladas, burritos, yeah. tacos, nachos, rice and beans, onion rings, barbecue Ooh. chicken, pulled pork, mashed potatoes, ice cream, and desserts. Mm, I'm I not don't... sure if I would do the ice cream. There are some sauces out of oh. dessert sauces that would be great yeah. on ice. Blueberry. But this one? <laughs> Whatever um, he has, like a, a potluck or whatever, and we have desserts, it's like I gotta break out the blueberry ghost because it's just yeah, so yeah. good on there. But yeah, no, this one I would say more like Mexican. Yeah, yeah, uh, that, the, the street I, I food. I could see that on like nacho. In pulled pork, it would be nice. Like, yeah. you would put a little bit in, but not on go, dessert. No, doesn't have the right palate. Unless you're me. doing like churros or something. Yeah, maybe because it would soak in with the breadiness. Yeah, and the, the sugar on that will depend on yeah. what type of churros you get too. But yeah. Very good. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, the chocolate mole. Chocolate mole. Chocolate. Holy mole. It, it's a chocolate mole. Oh, mole. <laughs> I have a mole. Does it keep moving? Oh, from the yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, that was from. We're probably men. doing men in tight soul. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it just oh, popped away. Yeah. And then they use that in. Uh, was it? There was Awesome Powers they used yes. it too, with uh, Fred Savage. Yep. <laughs> you, oh, you've got a mole. Mole. Anyway, that's good. <laughs> so yeah, so the chocolate mole from Purple Town Hot Sauce, another good one to try. Put it on your burritos or your enchiladas. Put it on anything you want to. That's that's Don't awesome. listen to us. Don't, don't put it on. Don't card. put it in your eyes. Just yeah. Listen to us on that one. Food wise, put it on whatever. Yes. If you want to put it on your breakfast cereal, go right ahead. Yep. I, that that actually sounds kind of good. <laughs> I don't know how well it would mix with milk. Oh no! Don't put milk on your breakfast cereal. Just put that. If you read the instructions on a box oh. of cereal, it says have milk with it. This this side of the table is for dry breakfast cereal. No That's milk. It's called a granola bar. In a bowl. <laughs> Delicious. Mind you, I did see a TikTok of a pop, uh, popcorn being a breakfast cereal. I see where they're going with that. Because if breakfast cereals are typically made out of corn. Yeah. What's popcorn made out of? Corn. Yeah. What do you put on popcorn? Butter, which is dairy. Yeah. yeah. Although I usually eat mine dry. You eat butter comes from milk? Yeah. So, yeah. Popcorn is, according to the video I saw, is a breakfast cereal. And a hot dog is technically a sandwich. A sandwich of what, though? Meat. Unless you're eating vegan dog, vegan meat. But it's a very, very mixed meat. It is mixed meat. So does that make it an assorted sub? Yes. <laughs> but on foam. Anyways, on that note, enjoy the heat, stay spicy. We'll see you next time. Bye. But who knows what wacky stuff was on in our hands. That's the it is. That was not bad. You were pretty close on that one. I think you got everything. I had the Habs. Um... I didn't get the ghost, but I had the chocolate. You got the chocolate. And the brown brown sugar. sugar. And the garlic. Yes, and the cilantro, which is more like parsley.